Let's take a look at standard error. So first, the standard error of the mean. So that's the sample means standard deviation. It measures the variation of all of the sample means around the population mean, right? We're dealing with a sampling distribution right now. So we're looking at where the sample means line up in comparison to our population mean. And here's how we can calculate our standard error. So we take sigma, the population standard deviation, and we divide it by the square root of little n, the square root of our sample size. Now, we might need to include the finite correction factor depending on how large of a sample we took. But this is just our base equation for the standard error of the mean. Now, the standard error of a proportion. The definitions that you see there are pretty similar to what we just looked at. This is the sample proportions standard deviation, and it measures the variation of the sample proportions around the population proportion. So really, we just replace the word mean with proportion in these definitions. And here's our calculation to find the standard error of a proportion. Everything is under this radical. So in our numerator, it's p times 1 minus p. Those are our population proportions. We divide that by little n, our sample size. Once we do that division, then we can take the square root of it all, and that gives us our standard error. And once again, we might have to use the finite correction factor depending on how large of a sample we take.